fun. Uh, great outdoors. Um, wow, they're just coming in hot and heavy. Uh, right here in this capsule, I have what is known as the pigeon horn tailed wasp. Hi, great outdoors. Um, that's good to see you. I'm Alex with the Great Outdoors. Today, I want to introduce you to the largest wasp species I've ever featured on this channel. If it's Welcome to the Great Outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Today, I want to talk about a wasp species that is a very large wasp species. Right here in this capsule, I have what is known as the pigeon horn-tailed wasp. Now, the pigeon horn-tailed wasp is a big wasp species. In fact, the biggest wasp species I've ever featured on this channel. You can see it right here in this capsule. It is commonly mistaken for Pelestes carolina, Pelestes metricus, and various other insect species. Interestingly though, this one has a very long stinger protruding from the rear of its tail. Well, in fact, that is not a stinger. It's an ovipositor, which all stingers are modified ovipositors. But in this case, it does not generate any sting. Or so they say. We're going to find out here today, but we're not exactly sure because nobody has done this sting test yet. Now, I want to give you all a good close-up look of it, and then I'll go ahead and extract it from the capsule and do some more close-ups. Here is the pigeon wasp. Okay, now this pigeon wasp does have large mandibles, and it can bite, and that can cause some wounds. The question is today, will this wasp sting? Well, I've never seen anybody feature this wasp on their channel. However, accounts say that it will not. So I will induce the sting here today, and we're gonna get down to the bottom of whether this is a venomous stinging insect, or is it just more intimidating than it actually is venomous? Okay, here it is. We're removing it from the capsule. Now, I'll use my forceps right here to get a proper placement on this wasp species here we go it is a female it does have an ovipositor females have ovipositors and females are larger than males so here we go all right yes here's a good visual of the wasp species i'm talking about What's up for you here? Ah. Look at that modified ovipositor. If it does sting, I assure you that I will have multiple injection sites. Look at that. Do you see that? That is an ovipositor. How unique. Now, you may notice that I'm here in a wood yard and this insect actually uses that ovipositor to bore into decayed wood or wood that's soft enough for it to actually sink its stinger or ovipositor down into. In turn, injecting it with larva or eggs to which form larva. And this wasp, in a lot of cases, um, it gets stuck in the wood. And you may actually see this wasp species stuck in the wood sometimes because it injects the stinger down into or the ovipositor down into the wood and it can actually not get out so you may see it what looks like a dead wasp well the wasp dies after it injects the larva anyhow so its life cycle is over it uh it really just wants to lay its eggs and move on but uh so this is a very interesting species we're going to let it go right here in this area and we're going to try to see if it can finish its life process hopefully the larva or eggs of the larva aren't somewhere inside of my skin in fact i don't think that my skin would become a suitable host for those larva anyhow because they like woody material and that's got me sweating Whew. that was a bad one just kidding y'all <laughs> but uh it is a really amazing species I want to get some really good close-ups. All right, let's let him go. Right back here where he belongs. Come on, buddy. You're okay. 
continue your life cycle. Thanks everyone for watching this episode. If you would, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. It really helps a lot. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We are the many. Welcome to the colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission. All about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction. So many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. It's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it, I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it, which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Be sure to press the link right down here in the bottom corner. Or if you want to see more sting videos, click on this one. Or this is the one that YouTube said was best suited for you. Hopefully we'll see you again right here in the great outdoors. I'm your host Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy.